on those type of subject subject matter. I'm gonna talk about Dave Chappelle. Cause Dave Chappelle did a uh, um, stand up this. I think it came out Monday. Was it Monday Smoke? Hell if I know, I ain't watch. Yeah, it came out Monday, and Dave Chappelle he was talking about this very s- subject matter about cancer culture, where um, people disagree with something somebody said and want to cancel them. And he, one of the things in the sketch, in the stand-up that was funny is that he said um, when he was doing his show, the Chappelle show, he said um, he had used the word faggot in one of his sketches and he had to go see this woman about it. And he said the woman told him he cannot say that word faggot. And then Dave Chappelle said, well, how come I can use the word nigger and I can't use the word faggot? And he said the woman told him, well, Dave, you're not, you're not gay. And Dave said, yeah, I'm also not a nigger. And see, this is the point that I was talking about earlier, where you see people get upset if faggot is used, but not upset that nigger can be said anywhere on television. And people were saying that, hey, man, gay people say gay is the new black. No, gay is the new Jew. That's what gay is, because you can't say nothing about Jewish people. You can't critique Jewish people at all without somebody being outraged about it. But with black people, no, you can you can say what nigger anywhere on the internet, on 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 in TV, doesn't matter. You can say it. And when he talked about Michael Jackson, he said, you know, I don't believe these cats. And he was like, yo, because if I was gay, a pedophile, then I'm sleeping with Colin McCul- Macaulay Culkin. That's my thing, too, with Mike. I always wonder is why he never had sex with Macaulay Culkin, why he never had sex with uh, Webster or Corey Feldman, because Mike was surrounded by all these young white boys and other black dudes. Why he never had sex with any of them? Wasn't his type. That's what I'm saying. Like, you would think he would have tried something with those people. But what Dave was talking about through that stand up, I start seeing all of these people online talking about how Dave is canceled. And when you see this cancel culture, most of the time it's black people who's talking this junk about canceling people. But my whole thing is if we, if we as black folks, even Mexicans, Asians, whoever it may be, you didn't watch comedy for the last 20, 25 years. You watched comedy and all of us was attacked. Our religion was attacked and gay yeah, people sat yeah, right there and true. watched it and laughed. Yeah. Yeah, that is the thing that I have came to the conclusion of that as people, everybody get to, get made fun of, get told jokes. Even yeah. especially if you are friends with somebody, you tell jokes, you t- you sit yeah. around and you tell a joke, but basically gay people are telling you those like and that like that my thing. I'm like I'm gonna start doing this to y'all. I'm not gonna I'm gonna act like y'all don't exist. Yeah, but because see, we can't say anything to y'all or joke around the, with you because you get mad. The, the allyship is one way. That's what you see. The allyship is one way. It's the only position that the rest of us have is being allied to gay people. But them being allied to us, no, not so much. Like so, you don't like, like let me people. finish what I was going to say for a second. But when I was talking about how all the rest of us had, we sat around and listened to people tell jokes about our race, we did it and didn't have anything to say in return because we understood what comedy was. We That's where everybody goes to laugh at each other and whatever. But now that gay people are being the target, they want to come out here and say, oh, no, you canceled. But those same gay people sitting there and laughed at Jews, laughed at blacks, laughed at Mexicans, laughed at Puerto Ricans, mm. laughed at whites. 
But now, when someone is talking about them, they want to say cancer culture. What you seeing, man, that happening in this country right now is high school stuff. Remember in high school where you had people who could dish it out but couldn't take it? No. But no, no, no. I was going to get to that. I understand for those people, maybe you had one or two people who use those type of jokes that we telling to hurt you. But those dudes, those people, when your friend, they went out here trying to also speak up on your behalf. So when we make these jokes, like I told you about the little thing about Funimation, how somebody leaked audio of them making jokes. And they were like, it jokes. Now the assholes and the whatever they used it or did now yeah I'm pretty sure the old people didn't use the like you can you can tell when somebody's joking yeah and that's my thing like you can tell when somebody's joking and you can tell when somebody's serious and they trying to do something say something to hurt you and that's my thing when I see certain stuff or when I seen that with the clips I seen with what uh, Dave Chappelle it was like. He's joking. And, and not just joking. Like, it wasn't like Dave Chappelle was attacking gay people. He never yeah. attacked them. What he was doing was telling the problems that they are creating with their cancer culture. Where he says, man, I don't even feel comfortable doing comedy anymore for you guys. Because I'm afraid if I say something, y'all going to be into y'all feelings and want to get me counsel. And my thing was is this. What we are seeing happening, I think people was doing this con- to conservatives for a lot of times when conservative was just uh, critiquing gay people. But we came, people on the left came in and they was validating gay people, poor behavior. But now what you're seeing is that gay people are attacking their own now. They attacking people who are on the left who have been allying with them for years. Mm. And that's why I said the allyship is one-sided now. And they have dominated our political process where everything in this country today is about feminism, LBGT, and these blacks and Latinos who are privileged going around talking about this Republican is racist or that Republican is racist. But for his policies, we had totally got away from that stuff. For what's going on in the country, we had totally got away from those issues. But now the left wing in this country is eating its own. They eating its own. Feminism, LBGT is eating their own people. Over things that they sit around and watch comedians do for years to other people. And they just sit there and laugh at it. But now when everybody is laughing at their stuff too, they want to get butt hurt. I told and be in their feelings about it. I told you, but when... After the Kevin Hart thing, and then there was some other comedian that came out and said stuff. Then now when comedians say something, especially in that capacity, in a stand-up capacity, I take it. If it's funny, you laugh. If it's not, yeah. you go about your business. Because, and then the thing is, yeah, because that was like, I think the dude, Louis C.K., he had made a joke about the Parkland kids. I was I was like, yo, that was fucked up. Those kids ain't too long they got <laughs> shot at and you just made a joke about it. And then there were people like, oh, y'all blowing it out of proportion. I'm like, people just died. And y'all didn't yeah. mean it. But, but see, All right. Comedians but, in that stand-up form, they yeah. can say whatever they want. And if yeah. it's funny, I'm going to laugh. But if it ain't funny. See, with Louis C.K. at that point, Louis C.K. had already been attacked, right? And he was attacked because he was in a room jerking off in front of uh, women. some women and people got mad about it. But the women who was actually like Sarah Silverman, she was say she was okay with it. So when he got attacked, he came back when he done that comedy special. He came back in that comedy special trying to offend people because he was pissed off of what had happened to him. And that's why he did that Parkland joke because he was pissed off. But and then, like I said, when everybody keeps talking about this cancer culture, I would like to see somebody actually be canceled. That's why I want yeah. cancer culture to go away because ain't nobody getting canceled. Yeah. It's just a bunch of bitter ass people, man, who out here outraged about every single little thing that happens and nobody is getting canceled. Yeah, so yeah. if it is nobody getting mm-hmm. canceled, why do we have a cancer culture anyway? And you know, me and you, we always sit around, we talk about that, about the things that we don't like 
or the people that we don't like, or at least for me, I don't know if you do, I think you have started to do a little bit less. But if it's somebody that I don't like, an actor, a TV show, or something, I'm not going to sit here and keep watching it and talk about how terrible I think it is and how I don't like it and this and that. No, I'm just not going to watch no, it. No, just move away from it. But for these people... But, but see, listen, the thing is, though, Smoke, when you do that, you don't go ahead and tell me that that's what you're doing. You just don't watch it yeah. anymore. You don't go whining, saying, yo, man, this is why I ain't doing this no more. You just don't do it yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm say to you. You hear these people come out and say, oh, this person canceled and whatnot. But see, and then that person come out the next month, and that same person or same people who just told you that person canceled, they sit here talking about that person. And you, but, If you stop paying attention to that person, you want to know see, that they just yeah. did something. But see, the thing is with these folks is, it ain't that they just want to stop doing it. They want you to stop doing it, too. It yeah. ain't that, yo, I think this way about Dave Chappelle, so I ain't why entertaining it, what he doing anymore. It's, I don't want you to be entertained by him no more, neither. And if you don't, you bad as Dave Chappelle is. You got to like, start worrying about yourself. Yeah, like, you know, like, and that's what they think is. It ain't just, I canceled Dave Chappelle. I canceled him for everybody. Nobody can like Dave Chappelle. And nobody can critique me on what I think and what I say about him. You just got to go along with what I say. That didn't work with R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, yeah. and, and, and Bill with, Cosby. With nobody. Nobody. And I said, this this whole thing just on the left wing today is just a hot mess, bro. It's a hot mess where people think, well, because, and that's why I said I'm always up for debate for people to have they say or whatever. But... I'm also for those people to defend themselves, too, and have something to say, and I want to hear what they have to say. But now, with this thing with Dave Chappelle, it's just crazy, because when I, before I saw the uh, stand-up, before I even seen it, I was hearing these people talk about Dave Chappelle and how he was canceled and how his stuff was so homophobic and all of this stuff. And then I watched it, and I was like, no, no, it wasn't. He was just critiquing gay people. But see, that's where we at today, where you cannot critique gay people. You cannot critique women without them coming back and saying, oh, just say you hate gay people. Just say you hate women. No, I don't hate women and I don't hate gay people. But I can acknowledge and sit here and tell you that gay people are not right about everything that they say. Women are not right about everything that they say. And they can be critiqued. But today, a That's lot of people are going to be out here critiquing other, other people. people. A absolutely. Like you it, open the door, you open the floodgates yeah. for somebody to come back and say, no, well, you you're can, wrong. It, but it's like, again, when you talk about like with women, right? Women could go around here and say, I'm not going to date a dude who broke. I ain't going to date a dude who under six feet. I ain't going to date this. But as soon as my man say, I ain't going to date a fat chick. Oh, my God, you so terrible. You men are so sexist. But they do the same thing to men that they complain about men doing to them. Yeah. And that's the same thing with gay people. You don't see gay people tell terrible jokes. And like when and in the past thing, I told you about how gay people out here talking about they hope black men get killed. Or when gay people were celebrating that Nipsey Hussle got killed. But you can't critique them. But they can critique you. Well, all right, people, hit that like button, subscribe.